Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Scout on Apes. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village, as my father was and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations, our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us or our descendants, but somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly ghouls. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Kill. The oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the Rakuls and the other foul creatures. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though I know little beyond the borders of the Undercity. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. Slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for engine parts, old blasters and the like. Sometimes they even give me credits if I have some really good stuff. Oh, you better ask Gendar. He's the spokesman for the village. I just run the store. I don't want to make him mad by answering any questions. Gendar already doesn't like me. Gendar seems to think I should share the profits of my store with the whole village. He figures we're all in this together, so it should be share and share alike. But I'm the one who runs the store. I'm the one who makes the deals. The others just bring me salvage to trade with the Upworlders. Why should they get anything? <laughs> exactly my point! But Gendar doesn't see it that way. He caught me hoarding supplies a while back. I figured I'd wait until food was scarce and then I could offer it to people who'd follow me instead of Gendar. Then I'd be the leader. But 
Skendar made me share my hoard. Ever since then, he hasn't trusted me. He keeps me around because of my store, though. Without it, this village wouldn't stand a chance. If a villager comes across any useful salvage in the Undercity, they bring it to me. Every so often, members from the lower city gangs come down to trade for the salvage. They'll exchange food and medicine for any. I didn't realize I'd already clicked that one. Yeah, it ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the prices are right. He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the rat ghouls are so near. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you've got to be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Hurry, while the gate is still open, you must save Hindar. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Uh-huh. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the backs won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find. Just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver. I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorreans like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds him of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Look out. It's an ambush. Thank you. 
Time. You rumble. Time to rumble! Down you go! Hey, Car, you're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, and it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Her. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Big C's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Carr. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Thank you. Those things, they attacked as soon as we came out the doors. They, they killed the others. It, it was horrible. Bastila? She wasn't in this pod. We were tracking her pod just before we hit the planet's surface. It went down somewhere to the west. We lost the signal when our own pod crashed. Maybe. Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? I thought I heard something. Over there. I heard something. I know I did. 
There it is again. It's those monsters. They're coming back. Run for your lives! Shit, I think it's actually broken. Yeah, full like, full crashed. Oh, weird. I'm not gonna heal him this time. I've already heard that. No! No! I'm just gonna do it this way instead, man. Can't do it. Whatever it was. Black Vulcus Scavenger, that's what they were fighting. So weird. Time to rumble! Take that! Huh? What? These tickets. Being a retard. Wait, don't kill me. I surrender. I surrender. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. I work for Bridge, head of the Black Volker gang. He told us to kill anyone who came snooping around. There was one survivor, a female Republic officer, Bastilla or something like that. Bridge took her back to the Black Volker base as his prisoner. Can't. Nobody can. They'll shoot you on sight. Even I couldn't get you in. They just shoot us both if we show up there together. What? But I surrendered. Damn you! 
Yes? Ready? Yes? Wet. Ready? What? Quest. Ready? Don't... don't move! I, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Hmm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pots. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Mandalorians don't make threats. We make promises. But I'm just trying to give you a friendly warning. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Yeah! <laughs> I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taurus. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. But I guess I could spare a couple of seconds for you. After all, you did help us out with those rat ghouls. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most important ones are the Hidden Bex and the Black Vulkers. Used to be the Bex were the big dog and kept the others in line. But lately, the Black Vulkers are moving in on Beck turf and challenging them for control. The Vulkers are even starting to defy Davik. Take these escape pods, for example. Everyone knew Davik would want first crack at them. But I know for a fact those damn Vulkers have already sent their own salvage party down here. What are you, an off-worlder? Oh. Come on, boys, let's move out!
Whoa, why is my mouse out there? What? Huh. What? Oh. That's better. What? Ready. Jesus Christ, we are all very dead. Why can't I return fire? What? What? Sure. What? Ready? Computer codes are nothing. The sewers is the only place you'd see one of these on terrace. You can't use conventional security spikes on these old locks. But don't worry. I've come across them before. 
I've rigged up a little device that should do the trick. Oh. I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Dalbar, together forever. Oh. 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 These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have gotten you out. A life dead? You sure about that, Big Z? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. Okay then, off we go. Well, like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there.
Sure. What?
remember getting this, but I probably did. I did. Okay. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Do you bring news of my apprentice? Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use, and the poor were left to starve and die. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps... With their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope the knowledge that you are helping the entire village escape a life of darkness and suffering is reward enough. I see. Well, perhaps you are not the savior I seek after all. I can only pray that if you find the journals, you will have a change of heart and bring them to me. I saw you talking with Rugal. He told you his legends about the Promised Land, didn't he? 
He told you all about his missing apprentice and the other lost explorers, right? You know, most people don't believe his stories. They figure he's nothing but an old crook. But I think there might be some truth in what he's saying. That's why I want to stop him. For an outcast, I've got things pretty good. The village relies on me to bring in food and supplies. I'm an important man. If it wasn't for Gendar, I'd be running this place. But if Rukul ever finds his promised land, I'm sunk. People won't need to rely on me anymore. I'll just be another nobody like all the rest of the villagers. I won't let that happen. I don't want you to kill Rukul. He's not the problem. It's those damn explorers that went before him. What if they actually found something? They would have recorded that information in their journals. I'll pay you if you bring all three journals to me. The two from the explorers, and the one from Rukul's apprentice. Then I can destroy the evidence and make sure nobody ever finds the promised land. I've saved up enough credits for my business here to make it worth your while if you help me. Once you have all three journals, just bring them to me and I'll give you a decent reward. Now, was there something else you needed? legend about the promised land were true. Quick, give me those journals so I can destroy them. Right, your reward. Here's 100 credits. That's a pretty hefty payment for some old notes and maps, eh? I don't think you understand how much 100 credits is worth down here in the Undercity. This is a small fortune. I want those journals, but I'm not rich like you upwelders. 100 credits is all I can afford. Excellent. Now Rukul will never lead these people to the promised land. Now, is there something else you need? You want to look at my inventory? False prophet! Deceiver! You have betrayed me! You have sold the hope of the entire village to the selfish and damnable Igiar! All I have worked for is destroyed! All the hopes and dreams of my father and grandfather before him turned to dust! Begone, upworlder! I have only curses to speak at you! Back in just a moment.
come back. Um, time to back in the sewers. Way. Not really. <laughs> They're all the same. to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black bulker who had a little too much to drink in the canteen one night. Here, let me get that energy field down for you. What?
Easy peasy. It wasn't clicking, that was really weird. Sized odor in the corpse pile. Sorry. Uh, and where are my grenades? Because they're shit, we put a concussion grenade in there. Let's go! I literally turned solo mode on so they wouldn't follow me. An old mate just goes and decides to fucking, yeah, die. Tired of all those drunken brawls. Hey, hey, you're no black Volker. 
damn Beck spy. I'll teach you a lesson. There's no threat to us. Just run along, miss, and get out of here, and do it quickly before the Valkers come back. Uh, I'm free to go? You're not gonna kill me? Uh, I don't know how I can ever repay you! Thank you! Thank you! Uh, I have to get out of here before any of the Valkers see me! What's the elevator? I just remember it being the armory. On it. It's open. Wait, don't kill me. I surrender. I surrender. If you let me live, I can make it very profitable for you. I've got the computer codes to unlock the central elevator. You promised to let me go. And I'll use the computer to unlock all the doors on the main level, including the central elevator doors. It'll take you up to the second level. Why? What's up on the second level? That's where we've got all our processing labs. The raw spice up there is worth hundreds of credits. It's yours. Oh, you just I remember this. Go. Don't worry. Once I unlock the doors, you won't ever see me again. Fuck 
off. That sucks. Nightmare fuel. I just send my guys down here. What? Slaves. Whoa, shiver. I'm not sure if I actually want to like deal with this. Come on. I'm not sure if I'm actually keen to like deal with this level or not. Cause it's like it's not necessary. You asked for this. Come on, Carl, just hit him, bro. Oh, my God. On it. It's open. On it. 
It's open. Hey there. Say, I, I don't recognize you. You must be one of those new lab techs, right? What are you doing over here on the mechanic side of the building? You lost, rookie? Hey now, no need to be that way. Leave the violence to the Volker gang members, okay? We mechanics and lab techs are more civilized than that, right? You've got a question, just ask. I'll be happy to help. Don't be shy. The only stupid question is the one you don't ask. At least that's what they say. The accelerator? Oh, it's down in the garage, of course. The service elevator is the only way in, but you lab techs aren't allowed down there. That's a restricted area. Only people with authorization cards, like us mechanics, can get past the laser cannons guarding the service elevator. All mechanics have to store their authorization cards in the locker room when we're off duty. That's the rule. My own card is locked up right now. I put it away as soon as my shift was over. And I'm not about to lend my card out to anyone. You know how much trouble we can get into if Bridget finds out we aren't keeping our authorization cards properly secured? Of course not. All the mechanics here follow the rules as closely as they should. I've even heard of a few guys trading their cards for a spice fix. <laughs> Stupid addicts. Okay, then. If you need anything else, just come see me. I remember what it was like my first day. Sure. Ready. On it. It's open. Thank <laughs> you. 
USB just decided to like work. Like it just came up with the USB folder. What? Now, but you are a silhouette. It's open. Just a big like area with a bunch of loot in it. And like XP. <laughs> it's not crucial for anything. Say about oh, I don't even, it doesn't matter. Um, did I go all the way along here? I don't even remember. No. On it. It's open. <laughs> That's 
sorry guys, I don't need your help. Whatever. I'm surprised to see you here. Usually you like hey there. You must have. Sorry. Ha! You can't sorry, but those stakes are too high. For... Questions. Come on. I just got off a double shift. I'm here to relax and play cards, not to answer a bunch of questions. So how about it? You wanna play? Well, if you ever feel like passing the time with a few harmless hands of low stakes Pazek, just let me know. You, you're the new lab tech, right? Gotta be. You ain't no mechanic. You don't look like one of the Volker gang members. Th that's us, new lab techs. You're a perceptive one. Listen, friend, I used to have a little deal with one of the gals in the lab. Whenever I needed some spice, she'd sneak a little bit out for me, and I'd make it worth her while. But she's gone now. Brezhik found out she was dipping into his stash. Now my supplier is gone, and I'm in bad need of a little fix. You follow what I'm saying? See, all you lab techs are so smart. You got it figured out already. Just a small bit of spice, no one will even notice. And I make it worth your while. Here's the problem, see. I'm flat broke till next week, but I'm good for it. In fact, I'll even let you hold my mechanic's access card for collateral. How's that sound? You see, I knew you were the type to answer the door when opportunity knocks. Wait here, and I'll be right back with my access card. Okay, let's do this deal quick. I don't want somebody to see us, or we could both get in trouble. Here's my mechanic's access card. Don't lose it. As soon as I get paid, I expect you to give me that card back. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to find somewhere private to enjoy this spice. Working for Brezhik. Yep, I'm surprised to see you here. Usually you lab techs don't mingle with us lowly mechanics. I don't even. Well, that was sick. I love how it automatically like swapped me out to car.
Fuck serious. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Fuck off. It's hell annoying. Thousand credits and five plasma grenades. Hey, dig. Sure. Uh huh. You asked for this. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Got them upgrades, boy. Oh. Yeah, I do this thing where I run. I want to take one of like, have an, like a like scratch or like a itchy eye or something. I'll run like sideways because like, I can't turn the mouse because my hands off it. Well, you're talking like Brejek didn't steal that engine himself to begin with. Na 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 kanki chiki nai potoka na wana pota kachi chuai sa hodunga in kinku no ba muli ra chikun slima podona rundi hodunga kun hongabi
tonga bug sham uninong wanga kun bisking ba mulira chuni yun tun jiji ai tatwana kava volpa muljui kamana tonga ai tuam jiji yumalit pa angin kotu tolba da bung kwalya gando de nago chuchut kachi chu ai ta haudonga yumalit ka in kotun Chilo mulera de ne bobo. Wonka kun iskang. Bamulara. Rundi haudonga kuhunga bi. Wana kun bes. Chink palamul tong king ba na konkek. Tung ting ta chun kun nek mulera bes. Ta bis tiu bong konki pan pa. Chink palachiska muli. Tu ni rana no prata dunk no sacha doma wama kun bestoma. Ni shaji lo chakin kun o bambuli raji kun. Kuya mi juz kachita naipatoga ya fulki kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Kanki dorati kun watati mana itabola. Are you sure about this? I mean, I want to get Bass to live back, but taking contracts to kill people is a bit much. Even if it is just more biker scum. Mana mana tota! Aku chika tuk pola! Ji shok chonaton! Chon king no una pang pa mulira kun kili! Kun kili no pa! Wata ti manyo ko konti chani! Mulira shok turung unid patoga wanka chone tize! Ratuk haki puna, puna dari kacu, kimba no muli na natuana. Gadden can't speak to you right now. Brezhik's put a price on his head, so I ordered him to stay in his private chambers until we find the assassin. I knew we couldn't trust you. Ready.
That was surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. I want to do a big explore. Sick. You can't come in here. Sound the alarm, Gadden. Relax, Kira. This is an ally, not an enemy. He's promised to help get our prototype accelerator back from the Vulcans. You're too trusting, Gadden. These must be the assassins Brezik sent. How else did they get in here? We're under attack! Guards! Guards! <laughs> What? Smashing through it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ta bistiu vom conchi pampa. Cin palacisca muli, tu ni rana no prata dunc no sarcia doma uama cun bestoma. Ni sarci lor ciacin cun o bamuli ragicun. Cavatumpa cun balia moca papa. Chikun, tong na pun shanyunyan. Kapabol pamul chika manaku ya mi juz kachita. Nai patoga ya fulki kukula jiji. Kawana bota a ayut tagwa. Kanki dora tikun wata di mana itabola. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalit pa ang inkotu. Tolbada bung walya gando de nago chuchut. And when we win the race, we get Bastila, right? Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aitha odonga. Tulbada bonk molya gando da nago chuchut. Moga shampoopa. Bola wana. Ki puna. Puna nai kachu. Kimba no mulina na tuana. Tun kin bano kune shagji kin lor chawa ta uma kava bolpa mulji gumana explode are you crazy why would we risk riding that thing then tonga buk sham kuni nong wanga kun beast kin ba mulira chuni yun tun jiji ai ta tuana kava bolpa mulji shagji kin lor chawa ta uma. Kava bolpa mulji gumana. King kun sha chi king. Ni king kun o tonga bug sham uninong. Wanga kun beast king ba mulira. Konti chani. Mulira shunk turung umnit patoga wanka chone tize. Just 
Been a while. It's been a little while. <laughs> I, Brezik, leader of the Black Volkers, am honored to award the victory prize to one of my own, once again proving the Volkers are the premier gang of Taurus. Well done. Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider and brought great glory to the Black Vulcans. That's why it is with the greatest sadness that I have to inform you of a slight change in the prize I am offering for your victory. When you hear what I have to say, you'll understand. It seems the woman I offered up as a prize is more than just a Republic officer. She's actually a Jedi. I've had to equip her with a neural disruptor collar to keep her mind in a state of unfocused confusion, just to make sure she doesn't use her force powers to escape. Obviously, I can't turn her over to you. It would be far too dangerous to have a Jedi as a slave. But rest assured, I'll find some other way to compensate you for your victory. <laughs> Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. <laughs> what? Impossible. You are restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you possibly summon the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Ah, oh. oh, shit. Who? <laughs> Hmm. 
Those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Bregic and his Vulcas would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Karth the Nasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? My attitude. It strikes me that you are the one in sore need of an attitude adjustment. I happen to be in charge of this mission, if you'll recall. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience, perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. But we all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Vulcans, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? This is strange. Such visions are often a sign of false sensitivity. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Hey there. What can I do for you? 
Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. One of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Are you kidding? Big Z ain't like that. He's just a big old softy inside. Of course, the Volkers didn't know that. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay upwind when he's speaking, you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z's a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. True. Basta is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing I know. 
I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value ever, and I hate surprises. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything, so it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Vulcan prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable, but though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you are gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. I'm here.
I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorous Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this have a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes. Then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. Good luck. You're going to need it. The entrance to the base is sealed up tight. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander is sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rocket. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People are starting to take notice of you. They say you're the best thing to come along since Twitch stepped into the ring. If you're gonna keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next on your hit list, kid. I'm looking forward to it. You don't waste any time, do you? Go talk to Adger. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids a trick or two. Let's have a big hand for Mo! But there's always some young gun coming up to knock the veterans off. And we've got one of the best right here. I give you the mysterious stranger. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have, um, demolitions. Demolitions plus two. Maybe I need, it needs to be one at least. Shit. Ah, uh, well. Shit. 
this is gonna it's gonna be tough lady is a legend in the sport a 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids but there's always some young gun coming up to Fucking literally one hits me. It's gonna be a better way. No, I'm fucking serious. I just gotta get the right one. Oh. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Marl is down! And questions about! Is this the end for the long-time bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings! Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? 
Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? presentation in store for you. Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch! But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Wow, you're the new champ. Congratulations, I guess. You know, when you started out, I actually thought I'd be able to crawl up from my last place ranking for a while. Shows what I know. Enjoy your time at the top, stranger. Sooner or later, someone will come along to knock you down here with the rest of us grinders. First, I go down to an injury. Now it looks like Marl's been dropped by old age. No room in this game for the veterans anymore, I guess. But don't get cocky, kid. One day it'll happen to you, too. Time catches up to us all, sooner or later. Well, everyone except Bendix Starkiller. I've never been one to shy away from the cold, hard truth. So I'll just come right out and say it. I can't compete with the likes of you, stranger. I know when I'm overmatched. You're good. Very good. But you're wrong if you think that means I'm suddenly going to warm up to you. Truth is, I really don't have anything more to say. So you might as well move on. You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bendak in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while. Bang things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. I've been watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement. 
time and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? So you're the one doing Zack's dirty work. Well, I've got some bad news for you, little bounty hunter. There's no way you're bringing me in. This campaign is part of the top level security grid. You pull a weapon on me and the auto-fire turrets will fry you before you can even pull the trigger. Why would I ever want to leave here? I've got food and drinks, a place to stay, and everybody treats me with the respect I've earned for my bullying career. But if you're set on collecting that bounty, I'll make you a deal. I kind of miss the fight game. My hand is itching for the feel of a blaster in my grip. I've seen you in the duel ring. You're just good enough to spark my interest. So I'll agree to face you in a death match. You win, you get to collect that bounty for killing me. Finally, fresh beast. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die.
I don't think you had a chance against Bendik, but you sure showed me. You showed us all. Too bad your career as a duelist is over now. I mean, nobody's gonna be stupid enough to go up against you anymore. Not even Twitch. Kind of funny, isn't it? You win the big match, and you kill your career. This is great. You beat Bendik. You're a legend. Whenever anyone asks, I can say I was the first duelist the mysterious stranger ever beat in the ring. I'm gonna be famous. Congratulations, stranger. I never thought anyone would beat Starkiller. Do you know it was because of him that I became a duelist in the first place? As a little girl, I used to dream of meeting him one day. When I finally did, the guy was a complete slime ball. It made me realize I had to be cold and ruthless to survive. Like him. And now, he's dead. There's probably a lesson in there somewhere. Something for me to think about, at least. Congratulations again, stranger. And goodbye. I love watching Ice fight. She proves this isn't just a man's game. Gerlon used to be one of the best in the game. Now he's barely better than old Dead-Eye Duncan. Bozzy Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> Pazak is not. If you ever will. What do you want? Got a bunch of minus twos.
lock it to win the last match. If you ever wish to... You are... I'm going to enjoy the... Thank God. Please. Please. Ah. If you You Stop giving me that plus minus six. It's so annoying. Oh, that's easy. Uh, minus two and still win. Get rid of that shitty minus two that's just a waste. Fuck it. Nineteen. I can either win or it's just, it's just gonna be random now. Of course. Of course he gets two tens. Again. You are. Alright, cool. <laughs> Don't have that fucking plus minus six. Yes. Let's go. Oh. You are lucky. If you, you are.
on. Don't dog me now. If you have. If I had better cards, you but I can't get. To win the last match. Ah shit, I could have used it. He's getting such small numbers. We'll get 20, like, just by playing cards. Oh. Oh. I'm very surprised that he had a minus 5. Come on, give me a 14. Give me a 14. Think about it. I'm not looking at my cards until after I pressed end turn on a 14. <laughs> What the fuck? As if he had... If you have. As 
saw your match against Nikos. He doesn't lose very often. I bet you could make a lot of credits as a professional Fazak player. You know, you're my kind of guy, rich and handsome. Just the way I like them. Why don't we slip away to the tap room together? The bartender can mix us up something special for only 20 credits. If you play your cards right, Pazak might not be the only game you get lucky at tonight. I love a man who's not afraid to spend his credits. I'll meet you in the tap room. Don't be too long. I'm not a patient girl. Hmm. What is the tap room? Is that this? Nope. Does she just like disappear or? Wow, are you really a noble? You must be pretty rich, right? Is your family important? I can trace my lineage back five generations to one of the founding houses of Terrace. In fact, oh, we seem to have some unexpected company, my darling. Oh, don't pay attention to him. He's just some bizarre player I met. He's not an actual noble like you. Come on, sweetie. Let's go back to your mansion. Alright. Um, I think I'm gonna jump off. Pretty dead, to be honest. Uh,. But if you if you're watching in the future, I hope you've enjoyed my stream. Even though this is like sort of post stream, but either way, um, catch you guys next time.